Hey, here we go. Part three. Uh, you know, modified the frame last time. Got the motor to fit. Uh, we gotta put a rear axle in it. Make a drive shaft before I can mount anything. Um, can't really do this in the shop because we can't move it out of there easily once there's no wheels. So we're doing it out here. We're gonna set it up on rims. Um, you may notice the greatly improved video quality. Uh, we're using our E 4K. Uh, audio quality is probably going to be a little worse. Hopefully not. But, yeah, video will actually be smooth and watchable now. Ah, we got her. It's, uh... Hopefully pretty solid. I got back up. Back up jack stands on the hitch. There, but we got a pretty good pretty good amount of clearance. Um well yeah. That should do. That should do. Hey, right, wheels are off. You can actually see what we're doing. This one's going to be pretty easy to do. Uh, the control arm, trailing arm, whatever you want to call it, comes off. Um, unbolt the shock. Uh, the whatchamacallit sideways bar. And, uh, you know, brake lines, all your regulars, the upper control deal thingamabobber there. He brake cables and little, little axles out of here. Easy, simple. Uh, I managed to round that off. So, I think I'm just going to cut the... Uh, if it'll go... There it is. I'm just going to cut the bracket. Because I'm not going to try and bother with getting that garbage out. This thing is just all rotted. Okay, so yeah, you know, pretty much out. Shocks are, uh, yeah, they're both unbolted. Uh, I had to heat the one up there that was stripped. So we're just stuck on the upper control arms. Uh, the bolt for the one on the passenger side there is rounded off almost, so we're gonna try and heat that up. I'm not gonna even risk it, I'm heating this one up before I even try. But I mean, after that, Oh, and the lower control arm, the other side I think is still in, so... Yeah, we're getting there. Almost done. Ah, I got a little bit of the automatic... Automatic heat and action going on there. We're using that gas. That one's hard to get out of here. He might be. Last bolt. I rounded off one. Heating up. I'm gonna put vice grips on it. And hopefully it'll some go. Well, the rear end's out. There we go. Took longer than expected on account of the filming, but she's there. We're gonna have to cut this thing down to almost nothing to fit normal under that mower, but should be fine. Hey, I got the disc brought in here on the 
lift. Kind of just drain the fluid out, and then I'll probably uh, get their can't remember what it's called bar off of there, and uh, either wire wheel it first or cut all the mounts and brackets off of it. Then wire wheel the whole thing. I mean, this is just just rotted rotted junk. We're gonna have to cut this thing super short, and we are gonna well weld it all cobbled. And it'll be straight enough. We don't care. Try and get our our bar off. Just get a little a little PB on there and let her soak for a minute. Hopefully this this garbage will come out of there. Yeah. So the first thing we're doing is we're going to be cutting the bracket off for our deal there, the bar. You know, and trying to get most of the brackets off. I wish I had cutting wheels, the grinder, but just got the saw off, so stuck with that. Probably not going to take uh, too many of the brackets off until I have that, but after that we're just, you know, going to take the wire wheel and clean it up. Sorry. Right. 
Head over to Harbor Freight, get some cotton wheels, and we'll be all set. And I made it to Harbor Freight. Picked up some, you know, cheap. Uh, gonna get these brackets off of here, and then grind everything smooth, and I already started a little bit there. And, uh, this thing will be ready to shorten. I don't know if that'll make it into this video, but... No, probably not, but... Yeah, we'll get there. We gotta get a big... Big, uh, like, at least a foot-long V-block to set the axle in. Clamp it in before I weld it. We're gonna have to use the TIG for that one. For the axles, anyway. Now we just have our. Uh, now we just have our. Uh, no, I don't even know what, what was that for your uh, with the bar and the shock and that whatever. I don't know that garbage. That's just a big old, big old disaster. Look at how many, how much junk's in the way. Getting the grinder in there and cutting. That's just not good. Gonna have to get a already went through one wheel. We're doing. Tubes are pretty, are uh, pretty clean. There, oh, hey, uh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Tubes are pretty clean. Not too bad. Got to get the out, outer garbage off, and this would be nice. This is a nice, simple, basic rear rear axle, ready to cut. Well, we're almost, almost there. I still got a little bit of a little bit of junk to do there, but I, I'm all done for today. That's probably gonna be it for the video. So yeah, I still gotta you know pretty much do this whole side. I just kinda did a little bit. But you know, we're in good enough shape. Next time I'll probably either be cutting this and uh, you know dealing with that. Or we will be dealing with getting uh, this section right there of the transfer case onto the transmission here, making that all work. And we will be cutting this larger one there. It's the one the drive shaft we're going to be using, cutting that down and uh, dealing with that. 
Well, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, that's, that's all we're doing for today.